<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, I got a question for y'all, man. Do y'all think that 2K intentionally tries to finesse us, or do you think that we really are finessing ourselves and believing what they say? Do y'all think that, or, or do y'all think it's one of those things where they do something, they make a change, or they put something in the game, and then they see the opportunity for the finesse, and then they just follow on through with it. Yeah, it's gonna become apparent in a second what I'm talking about, man. But if y'all don't do nothing else, make sure y'all like the video, because every time y'all like the video, we got a chance to get closer to that oh-so-coveted 100K. Man, I'm trying to get my play button before the end of the year, man. You know what I'm talking about? It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time, but I know. Yeah, y'all know it's gonna come, man. Anyway, man, let's just get right into the news, bro. I, 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 we ain't got no more time for this, man. Right off the bat, your boy Power DF with the inspiration, yeah. The inspiration, yeah. The most common way people give up their power is by thinking they don't have any. You are not powerless. You have the ability to change things. Don't give up your power and i'm not gonna lie to y'all man that's one of the things that my wife tell me all the time my uh subs tell me all the time brute tell me all the time it's just like i take a lot of the stuff that i have for granted and i'm just happy go lucky with first of all big shout out to this guy right here man cali boy pl bro hey listen man one of the most genuine guys we ever played with played against he he came out here played against us man um he was like yo that's jay that's brute and then you know hey and you know what i ain't even mad at you for saying that look brute so so right off the bat brute don't have a mic on xbox but i got a mic gambit got a mic or what have you and that's and and, and all of that man he said coming out here and playing against these guys he's like oh shoot this brute gambit and jay oh you know what i'm saying like he was like you know that's that's dope to be able to play against y'all then he came back and played with his with his other bill and he had his squad and you know they played straight up basketball no hate, no none of that. And he was just like GG after all of that, man. If everybody could be that genuine, it would be cool, but it's just not always like that. But when he said, man, me not being able to hear Brute is just like going to see Michael Jackson and not being able to, I mean, going to see the Jackson 5 and, and not being able to see Mike, or you can't see, I like, man, come on, man. Then I said, well, hey, what that make me? And then Brute gonna say Tito, bruh, who would I be? I'm, would I be Tito? Let me know down in the comment section if I would be Tito. I don't think I'm Tito, man. I'm Jermaine at the very least. Now, come on, man. Man, come on, man. I'm Jermaine at the very least, bro. Come on, man. You know what I'm talking about? But anyway, like you said, Power, that's what they tell me all the time, man. You know, when you when you talk about something or when you, you know, that's why they call us influencers because when you talk about something or you say something or something like that, you influence people to go and check it out and do all that stuff, man. And that's why you have to be careful with your power because when you think you don't have any, you'll take it for granted, you'll throw it around with willy nilly and then you don't understand what's going on. We're gonna talk about that in one second, but speaking of power, listen, if y'all don't do nothing else, my boy Anonymous 2K TV, he got a new YouTube channel. I have been promoting his other YouTube channel, but he don't even post on that anymore. That was my fault. I was putting a video up every, ooh, 82 per hand. This is gonna be a good game. I was I was posting his uh, old YouTube channel. I'm gonna put the new YouTube channel down in the description. Uh, go check that out. Sub to that. Make sure y'all hit up um hit up his you know like that video. He had a like goal of 25 likes, man. That thing should be at 300 likes before y'all finish with it at the very least. Also, he's streaming right now. He got the most wins on t most games played, most wins, and the highest win percentage that we know of legitimately that's been streamed of any streamer that's on Twitch. His link is gonna be in the description. Go check that out. Hit that up for me. But like I said, man, your power, and, and this is the something that the 2K community got. It's like your boy Random Wizard, he says, I genuinely believe 2K tried changing the builder, and now they're claiming it's a visual glitch after seeing the community's reaction. And then you know, you got somebody else say, I think they could have, I think they, I think they could have been a response to uh, people using the metric system uh to the game. Uh, build up, you know, for the extra stats. That's true. And then he says, uh, then Zach 2K says they had a whole system where where height, weight, wingspan, and all of that affected your badges. Doesn't sound like a visual glitch to me, LMAO. And that's what we saying, like thinking that we don't have power. It's a lot of times when 2K does something, we think we don't have any power, and we just like, yo, we ain't got no power, man. Ain't nothing we can do about this. Uh, let's um, let's just accept it. We just gonna take it, take it, but. We don't have to. The community outcry with that. We just said, look, bro, we're not taking this. We, we brought uh, a lot of, because of that. And then people always say, YouTube is this, YouTube is that. If it wasn't for YouTubers, and if it wasn't for people that do content, bringing light to that situation, y'all would have just been stuck with that. Everybody
everybody would have just been stuck with it. I would have been stuck with it. You would have been stuck with it. We would have all been stuck with it. So this is one of those things where 2K tried. I think I think it was an opportunity for a finesse. And then 2K wanted to drop, you know, drop some stats and then force you to do that rebirth rebirth or whatever. They gave you the rebirth. They saw the opportunity for the finesse. And then they followed through with it. But it didn't quite work because people were like, bro. I'm not about to make a new build just because you took my badges away. And then they came out and said, all right, well, cool. Well, this is what we're going to do like this, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, we back or whatever like that. But the whole point of what I'm trying to say is 2K look for the opportunity for the finesse. We saw that we had power. We exercised that power and the trays up splash down we exercised that power and then you know we got something changed if we would stick together and do stuff like that with the vc prices and all that good stuff man i really think that we can make a huge difference in the whole thing in the game and this is one of those times where the youtube the youtubers or content creators that y'all so hate we use our we used our powers for good and look what happened everybody out cried and we got something changed man so you know it is what it is y'all let me know what y'all think down in the, in the in the comment section do y'all think it was a finesse by 2k or do y'all think that that it was a mistake like they said it was up next man you got you got power set again it would be cool if you could customize the mascots so that everybody so everybody had a mascot uh they would be all genuinely different going to be annoying seeing everyone as the same skeleton you're right because look he's got the video up right here first first five team of skeletons and everybody looks the same my thing was why can't we just dress the skeleton so you uh, also man you check this out the first skeleton snatch block bro we did this is really what we doing man give me that like i say hey look look at that Shit out here, nigga. Hey, yeah, man, give me that. The first skeleton. Is this is what we doing, man. Is this what we really gonna be doing? Just saying, hey, this is the first. This is the first debt, man. Like, I ain't gonna lie. It was big in the Call of Duty back in the day. Call of Duty community back in the day. People be like, the first 50 kill game or the first this or first day. It was so. It was. It was fun times, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I love it. But you know what I'm saying? I wish we, I want to get back to stuff like that. But then, you know, like people always think it's lame and stuff like this. I, I don't know, man. It is what it is. But like I was saying, uh, yeah, this is one of those times where I wish that I wish we could dress the uh dress the the mascots or dress the skeletons so like you would essentially just have a skeletal face you wouldn't have a real skeleton on like we're not all gonna have the same thing on we, you would have a skeleton face on and that would be that and then you could put the clothes on it and all that but then like i don't know how the code works in that whole thing so i don't know if that's something that they can do i wish it was something they would look into just let us put some clothes on the skeleton baby that's all we can have the skeletal head or whatever you know what i'm saying i might want to put a hoodie on and be skeletor and you can be he-man and the masters of the universe i don't know man it is what it is but like i said um you know it's just one of those opportunities that i feel like you know we can do up next man we got you got your boy laker fan this is something that i always talk about too we gonna go through this we gonna come back it says isn't it it's funny to me that the that the two i mean that in 2k when you don't run the meta which is clearly the meta for a reason then people who don't run the meta uh will will on you and say that you only won because of the lineup dudes call himself comp and cry about not being able to win with the best lineup then he doubled down and he said another thing in the comp scene is that dudes are stuck in their ways um in their ways with what should and shouldn't be allowed all right that's cool uh they don't want to adjust to something new uh, and it's clearly better if it slapped them in their face. I'm with it. I'm with it. Danny tripled down, baby. He said, and the ways of the stage and the way of the stage geeks is all two locks, two guards, invalid. Doesn't mean anything. Let me see. Have not transferred over from Pro-Am. I mean, has now transferred over to Pro-Am. And now dudes are, are talking about if you run guard, wing, lock, forward, big deal with it and adjust that's something that we say all the time and then he says i'll never if he quadrupled down baby and said i will never see i've never seen so many professional cry baby uh cry i'm sorry i'm sorry professional gamers cry about the bills that people use this is embarrassingly is embarrassing honestly bro i ain't gonna lie to you golf clap golf clap because that's something that we've been saying the whole time. Like, we don't even run a traditional lineup. You see Brute run a 6-6. Six, a six, six. I run a 6-5 guard lock. And Gamut run a off. Um, he runs. He pretty much running a lock at, at center or whatever. In 2K20, we was running three centers. Because they would let you do it. I mean, or two power forwards and, and a center or whatever. Because the play glass or whatever. So, I don't understand why people. It's the same thing. Like, look, I know. 
that that popper is really hard to guard. But if you're supposed to be the best, why can't you guard? You're just gonna have to. Get, they always say you gotta adjust and D up and guard up and all that stuff, man. So I, I don't understand what's the problem with it. I ain't gonna say it's invalid or none of that stuff, man. Like I, that was some stuff that was quote unquote invalid in 2K20. Or some stuff like that. Okay, that that, that was some things. That, there was some lineups to do. Or them three lock lineups in 19, bro. Ain't nobody was respecting that. Now, now that I could see because that's something that shouldn't have been in the game in the first place. But when you're playing with stuff that's in the game and it should be in the game and it's completely fair, I mean, three locks was cheese. Let's, let's just come on, man. The three locks was crazy. You had 16 locks in 19, dribbling the ball better than guards. And if you if they couldn't dribble the ball better than the guard and you had a guard, they was gonna back you down over and over. And with the three guard, with the three locks on the court, you couldn't even shoot the basketball. They didn't let you, but you know, it is what it is. Last thing I want to talk about, man, is my boy Chalk. Chalk says, oh yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do y'all believe in invalid lineups? Do y'all think that if you're supposed to be the best, you should just adjust? I think you just, if you think you're the best, you just gotta adjust. That's just it. Bars! Anyway, uh, check it out. Chalk, last but not least, says, does it bother you if someone makes their whites if they're open? Now, checking out this, a lot of people are saying, yeah, uh, yeah, because shooting should be a skill. Uh, you don't have to time to jump. In, you don't have to time to jump in real life. It looks like it's all over the place, man. Um, looking, looking at this right here. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Now, an extremely level-headed guy came in. You know, what I'm you know what I'm talking about? Hold on. Let me, let me see. See if we go bike real quick. And uh, you know what I'm talking about? An extremely level-headed guy replied to this. You know what I'm talking about, Jay Easy. He said, I don't know who this dude is, but hey, this is one of the realest dudes. I, I just really really answers. Not at all. I feel like it's my fault for leaving them open. I only get mad at contested shots going in. And uh with all the open shots that go in, con with, oh, my, I'm sorry. With all the open shots that go in, contested shots shouldn't go in at all. But that's just my opinion. And that's something that I'm, I'm telling y'all, man. It's just my opinion, bro. Um, I feel like I'm just gonna tell y'all what I think. Because dang near, because dang near every open shot goes in, if I even get a five, I mean, five and 10, okay, cool. If I get anything over five or 10 contests, bro, that should be a brick. And that's just because it's a byproduct of all the open shots that go in. If as many open shots didn't go in like last year, you didn't get that many open shots, we knew if you got a contest over 27%, like you could green anything up to 27%. After 27, it got hairy, 29. You probably weren't going to green it. And then, you know, all that other stuff. And I mean, unless it, people hitting 38 whites in your face and stuff like that. But the whole point is, I feel like this is my, this is my thing. If he's open and he hits the shot, that's my fault. But if I'm, if I'm contesting the shot and I get a good contest, it should be an automatic brick, man. Like, that's all I'm saying. The only thing I got a problem with is the whites that go in or, or the full bars that go in and I'm right here in his face standing on top of his feet, tiptoeing, and it says 44% and it still goes in. Those are the ones that I get mad at. But the ones when they're wide open, I feel like if we blew a defensive assignment, like I said, I said in a previous video, if I, I, I like, if I play subpar defense, why do I expect you to play perfect offense to have to score? You understand what I'm saying? I want to get bailed out by, I want to get bailed out by something. It just sounds like people want to get bailed out by something. If we guard the guys and you're in their face, they should just miss. It should be that simple. It's not that simple. I do understand it, but I wish it was. But that's why I don't care. Somebody, if they hit wide open shots, wide open whites, all that stuff, man, I really don't care about none of that stuff. As long as it was a good shot and in good position and he was wide open, it, it don't matter to me if it was green or not. We shouldn't have left him open, but that's just my opinion. Do I feel like far too many of them go in? Yes, I do feel like far too many of them go in. But I want to be able to rely on the fact that if I am able to get there and play good defense, they should just miss. That's all I got to say about it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I know too far too many of them go in, but at the same time, I feel like that's got something to do with their offense getting the guy open and all that because Mike already told you, if you are open, you're going to get a dramatic boost to your shot. I just want that same penalty for when you're not open. That's all it is. That's why we got the open, the wide open and all that stuff. You get that boost and all that good stuff. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Um, a lot of them joints go in, but hey, I mean, I'm shooting 75% for a reason. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Shoot, man, I need some of them joints to go in, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm out of town next time, man. Y'all take it easy till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys,